Hello, my name is Dr. Lisa Nesson. I'm with Iron Gate Equine Clinic in Madison, Wisconsin. And today I want to show you how to bandage a wound on the lower limb of a horse. So this horse doesn't actually have a wound, but we just put this piece of duct tape on the front of his cannon bone to simulate a wound. So you'll want to um, follow your veterinarian's instructions. Uh, but in general, um, I would have you wear gloves while you're handling the wound. Uh, these don't need to be sterile, but just exam gloves. And then we usually start with a non-stick pad. This is a large Telfa pad, uh, similar to what you would have on a Band-Aid, so that it doesn't stick to the wound. And then we'll take some Conform or a stretchy gauze uh, to hold this in place. Just lay that gently across the wound and start to wrap either at the top or the bottom. And you don't want to pull this too tight. You just want to have it tight enough to keep this in place. So really just roll it onto the leg. Try to have as few wrinkles in the gauze as possible because that will make the bandage more comfortable. And then when you get to the end, you can unroll the last bit and tuck it under one of the other rolls. So that's your first layer. Um, when we're dealing with a wound, we may or may not need to use a sterile bandage. Just depends on what stage of healing your horse's leg is at. This is a front leg. So in a horse this size, we usually use a 14 inch uh, cotton roll um, because that will fit nicely between the knee and the ankle. And then I like to hold it in place with uh, brown gauze. And you wanna just lay it gently on the leg And just roll it on, keeping it snug, but not overly tight. So you want it to stay in place, but not cut off circulation. And just take your brown gauze, and I generally start at the top or the top or the middle, and just keep rolling in the same direction that you rolled the cotton on. And again, snugging it down, but not um, pulling it overly tight. And go all the way to the bottom and kind of cup it underneath the fetlock to help hold it in place and prevent it from slipping. Because if this was a wound that was sutured, um, the more movement you have in your bandage, the more likely you are to loosen the sutures. So. And again, no wrinkles in your gauze. To keep this a comfortable, snug bandage. And when you get to the end, this gauze will just lay in place. You don't need to tuck it under. And now you've got almost a half an inch of padding over the tendons and the front of the leg where there's very little muscle. Um, so that'll give you plenty of cushion uh, so that you're not likely to get a bandage bow or injury. Then next we'll use uh, vet wrap for another um, adhesive bandage. Oh, oh. And again, you wanna start, um, usually these I'll start at the bottom um, and I go all the way to the bottom, but not onto the skin, because it helps. Um, you can maybe reuse this white pad if you don't damage it too much or it's not too soggy. So uh, vet wrap is stretchy, so you want to pull it to about pull it to its maximum stretchiness, and then let it go about halfway, and 
put it on the leg or just roll it onto the leg. But you don't want to pull it tight and wrap it tight at about half its, its uh, stretchiness. And again, you can go all the way to the top because we're going to put some adhesive tape around the top and bottom to hold it in place and to keep dirt from getting down into the bandage and potentially to your wound. And just even pressure with no wrinkles. All right, and then the last thing we'll do, you're going to want to take your gloves off at this point, is put some uh, adhesive tape so this has stretch to it, as well as a sticky back. Oh. And we'll put a, a wrap around the top to adhere the bandage to the hair and keep it from slipping, as well as to keep dirt from getting in the bandage. So you wanna pull it off the roll and then let it relax and lay it on the leg so that you don't get it too tight. That'll seal the top. And then we want to put another wrap like that on the bottom. This stuff gets cold, it gets harder to work with. This one, if your bandage goes low enough, you can tape it right to their foot to keep dirt from getting in the bottom. Or from the bandage slipping down. All right, so that's a lower limb bandage over a wound. A bandage like that, uh, depending on your horse, uh, should be able to stay in place for four to five days, depending on how wet the wound is. Thank you for your attention.